for today's news, National Voters Day. See, the voters' re responsibility is con and the election day is actually a celebration of true democracy. So, India on Friday celebrates its 14th National Voters Day. So, it is celebrated annually on Jan 25th since 2011 to mark the Foundation Day of Election Commission of India. The ECI was founded on Jan 25, 1950. So, National Voters Day aims to promote people's participation in elections by encouraging and felicitating young voters and increasing voter enrollment. Nothing like voting one vote for sure. That is a theme. So, this year the Ashoka's festivity and inclusivity of the electoral process, the Ashoka Chakra in the background represents the largest democracy of the world. Inked finger represents participation of each and every voter of the country. The tick mark in the logo stands for informed decision maker by the voter. Reconsidering the free movement regime. So this comes under GS3 security. Uh, so in uh, September 23, Manipur CM Biran Singh blamed the ethnic violence on the free movement of Myanmar nationals. So, Home Minister said that free movement regime agreement with Myanmar would be reconsidered to stop border residents from moving into each country. So, free movement regime is a mutually agreed agreement between the two countries that allow tribes living along the border on either side to travel up to 16 km inside the other country without a visa. It was implemented in 2018 as part of the uh, ACTIS policy. So, this has been discussed critically. Why? Because uh, very frequently India is seeing the illegal migration of the tribal Kukichin peoples into India from Myanmar. That is an uh, ongoing issue. So, uh, Turkey ratifies Sweden's NATO membership. This comes under GS2 International Relations. Turkey's parliament ratified Sweden's NATO memberships after more than years of delays. So, Hungary reminds the only country to approve the Nordic nation's NATO memberships. NATO formed in 1949 with the signing of the Washington Treaty. NATO is a security alliance of 31 countries from North America and Europe. Recently, Finland joined the alliance. NATO's fundamental goal is to safeguard the allies' freedom and security. It is a system of collective defense where independent member states agree for mutual defense in case of any attack by external party. So, Article 5 of Washington Treaty states that an attack against one ally is an attack against all. Thank you. Have a great day.